everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. This is the final one with post-commentary, thank goodness. In the last episode, we restored all of uh, No Rune, which you can see here, kind of, sort of. I already showed, like, a big overview thing, so that... In this episode, we're going to go down to the final floor and help Dran. Shame there's not going to be any, like, music or sound effects for this fight, but... Oh well, nothing we can really do about that. You... <sighs> All right. Final floor of Divine Beast Cave. Then we get to move on to the next village. I don't know what I was talking about at this point, but I was definitely talking about something. Um. Hmm. Oh, th oh there we go. I went in. Good. I had no idea what I was going to start talking about, honestly. I really had nothing to talk about at the moment. Okay, so... Where is... Key. There's the key. What was I doing? Just looking to see my what I had in items? I guess so. Oh no, I was showing off what I had bought recently, because I think I stocked up before coming in here. I mean, that's what I'm guessing anyway. This is just pure conjecture at this point, and that would be the key to get into this area. Mm. Oh no, it's a giant fuzzy flying thing. Alright, it's a big giant fuzzy flying thing. Well, giant implies big. Oh god, and it breathes fire! Good to know. Be careful, Draco. It seems that Dran is being manipulated. Then there's no choice but to fight him. Oh, so that's Dran. Okay. So we gotta smack some sense into him. Use your power to break the spell. That's just vague enough to work. Actually, you could be a little more vague. Uh, Divine Beast Dran. You could say... Use your skills to beat him, which could imply both physical combat, and arcane combat, and throwing things up and down the hole I go. Okay, so I think it took me a bit to realize it was pointless using uh, our main character here, considering, you know, I can't swing my sword at a flying object that high. I mean, I could probably do, like, the jump attack, and maybe that would hit, but... Eventually, I'll realize I need to switch to Miss McFuzzles and have her shoot him with her slingshot. And down another hole I go. Yeah, that's gonna happen a bit. Um, for people who played Dark Souls, this is, like, a slightly easier version of Bed of Chaos. He breaks open the floor every so often... Well, no, Beta Chaos is more like an obstacle course. That's why I said this is slightly easier, because this is a enemy that you can actually fight, whereas Bed of Chaos was an entire obstacle course. The only real similarity between the two is he just knocks floor bits out every so often. And it might be one you're standing on. So he comes down, and now I'm going to switch back to our main, because I do more damage on the ground with him. Of course, I'm doing this the slow way. I've now learned, thanks to, uh... I'm sorry I forget your full username. I just remember there's Jose in it, I think. Jose told me I could hit the select button to make this go faster. Which I, uh... Up and down a hole I go. Yeah. I might have realized at the last moment that I was <laughs> right there... Okay, and I, I don't think I'm beating Dren this time, but I might get him close. Possibly. We'll have to see. Up oh, and there he goes. And yep, just as I thought. Going back up to Ariel. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we got here. What was I planning on doing exactly? Oh, right, this is where I put on the Dren's Feather, because I realized that the poison metal isn't, our amulet isn't really doing much to help me at that point in time. Where Dran's feather is going to help me run to him faster. 
And now that I think about it, it's called Dran's feather, but it doesn't look like the, a feather that's on Dran, really. I mean, if we look at his feathers now, they look nothing like the thing that we have. Wow. It looked up and... Wait, really? Screw you, physics! I can stand on air for like 0.5 seconds. Yeah, Dran is beating the tar out of me. This is not one of my proudest gaming moments. Uh-oh. Up and down the hole I go again! Alright, and now, if I could... Why am I not using Dran's feather? There we go! Yeah, and I'm sorry I keep going to first person. I think it's because before I recorded this, I was streaming Kingdom Hearts. Well, not just before this, but... Before the day I recorded this, I had recently played Kingdom Hearts, and I was so used to Kingdom Hearts' controls. So I tried to lock on with the button that it... Oh. And I don't have any of those, so I'm going to have to pay half my gold to get out of here. Damn it, and I didn't really have all that much to begin with. Hmm. Oh, well. Um... By the by, since I brought up Kingdom Hearts uh, that I'm streaming, I don't stream it as often whenever, like, uh, I can't do one of my other games that I stream. I use it as a placeholder. I'm, uh, with Kingdom Hearts, I'm streaming it on expert mode, and I have the uh, arcane build, the spell sword build, I call it, where I have, I chose the staff, and I decided to give up the shield, so my defense isn't all that great. I have a lot of offense, I have a lot of magic, obviously. And I've been doing pretty well. I mean, I beat a couple bosses that I managed to have a lot of difficulty with in, like, normal mode. Really easily. Like, Claymelion, which took me a while, I managed to beat, like, that first try. No contest, it was awesome. I don't know if I, uh... Put that up as a highlighter if it's gone. It's probably gone by now, now that I think about it. Which is a shame. I probably should have <sighs> made that a highlight. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, well. Or maybe I did. I'll have to look at that. Mm. Well, while we're doing buying, I guess I could in theory, but... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I'm doing it. I don't know why I said I don't know. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh wait, I think I actually did make that a highlight. Nice. Also went to the 100 Acre Wood in that particular one. But that's not the point I cared about, even though that's what it shows as the thumbnail for that highlight. I wish you could custom select, like, moments and snapshot it for your highlights on Twitch. I mean, maybe you can, and I just don't know how to do it. Because the name of that particular highlight is Welcome to the Jungle. Or Let's Pl let's Go to the Jungle, I think, or something like that. And Winnie the Pooh has nothing to do with the jungle. But whatever. Let's go back to the Dran fight. And hopefully do significantly better this time, now that I actually know what I'm doing, more or less. Oh, we still have... Cutscene. Divine Beast Dran again. <sighs> Sorry about that yawn if you heard it. Probably did. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There we go. He's down. Did it? Oh, nope. Went to first person like an idiot again. Derp. There we go. Heavy hit. I did more damage... To him than he did to me, so I think that went well. Even though I got knocked down. You just have to be careful with firing these. There you go, and he hasn't broken up the floor at all, which is good. Come on. There we go. Now back up, quick up. Oh, actually, since I got two hits on him, it was worth it. I'll eventually figure out in this video what the perfect timing is and how many times I can hit him without getting hit myself. 
But as right now, I'm still trying to figure that out. And I think he just broke up the floor. Oh yeah, he just broke up the floor. I can see it from to the left of me, rather. Alright, time to switch again. And now that I know how to switch quicker, I just can't help but feel like I wasted so much time by doing it by going into the menus. Ugh, damn it. I got had to get up early today, so I didn't get... Well, I got five hours of sleep. That's probably why I'm yawning. Okay, and yep, I managed to take not any damage. I just have to tackle him from one of his sides. Yeah, I should repair the Shamshir. I wonder if you get ABS from bosses. I never even considered that. Ow. Rude. And I almost forgot to switch. Dread's gotta be lower on health now. I can't see its health bar, though. I think it was there for a second. I'd have to rewind to look and see what it was at. I think it's probably at halfway now. Maybe? Ow. Why did I do that? Okay, back to Mystic Fuzzles. It'd be so much better with actual music in the background. Mm. I don't know why I'm yelling like it's the game's fault or the video's fault or even... It's, it's my own fault. I forgot to switch microphones. It's all on me. I'm mad at my past self for being such a derp. Sometimes I'm just so fucking stupid. Like that, when I went the completely wrong way twice, on the wheel. Ow. On the ally wheel, that's what I was trying to say. There we go. This battle is pretty easy when you know what you're doing. And you make sure not to stand on areas he's going to blow up. Right, up. Down we go again. And let's do another swap. Drop down Dran. With the way Dran is, it's almost impossible to see its health bar. His health bar, rather. Sorry. Sorry, Dran. Just because you're an angry monster right now doesn't mean you don't deserve respect as the guardian spirit of this village. And yeah, I need to repair again. Shiz, I'm on. I can curse. Shit, I am almost out of repair powder. Yeah, might as well pop that there. And yeah! And that was the last bit. We got him. <laughs> mm. What has happened to me? And who are you? What? You say I was being manipulated? I dran the god of beasts? What an embarrassment. Hey kid, sorry about that. Hmm, I see. So that's what's been happening on Earth. The Dark Genie. That's what the old man, the Fairy King, called it? If that's the case, we might be in trouble. I've heard that name before. Okay. Why did I... I must have said something. It was probably a joke, but now I'm drawing a blank. Long ago, a monster called Black Demon appeared in East Terra. The creature caused massacres after massacre, and almost brought the world to an end, even though it was established he could end it on his own, but whatever. Neither the most gallant knight nor the most powerful sorcerers could stand before the horror of the creature. Must l much less harm it. Its power seemed as vast as the limitless power of, the, of genies. Thus people started to call it the Dark Genie. It wiped out nearly all of the known kingdoms of the world. Ultimately, only a few people survived on Earth. 
when all seemed lost, a tribe called the Moon People created an enormous urn that could seal tremendous magic power and trapped the Dark Genie inside. The world recovered and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and their mastery of, mag of the magical arts. That's about all I know. If you want to go after that dark genie, you'd better have the moon people on your side. Okay. Could come in handy. I hear, I hear that the moon people live quietly deep in the woods in a place located beyond Matataki Village. I had some difficulty pronouncing that the first time and I was confused as to how it was pronounced, but whatever. Uh, the Matataki Village is just south of Norun Village. Why not go there first? Okay. Seems like a logical plan. Odd that the Fairy King, who never liked humans, sit like, gave a kid like you the power of that stone. He's got something up. Oh. So the Fairy King's racist against humans? Oh well. I can use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back. I'll give you a lift outside. Seriously, he didn't even mention... The Fairy King didn't even mention that he hated humans, and he just saved our entire village, because... Why not? No, 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 that, that doesn't make any sense. How has that not been brought up in the game at all until just now? Oh, by the way, he hates humans, I don't know if we told you that. Oh yeah, and it's nighttime at this point. Hmm. Well, it only took me two tries to beat Dran, and that's only because I couldn't remember the controls for a while. I appreciate your work, kid. I don't have a clue just how powerful this genie is, but it was powerful enough to control me. Be prepared to take this along with you. And take this along with you. Okay, what'd you give me? A map! Thank you, Dran! I always love getting a world map. This is no plain world map, kid. It's a magical map that takes you to the places, a place you point to instantly. The fast travel map, we call it. First, use this map to go to the land of Matataki Village. I hear that the moon people live deep in the wise owl forest. Once you reach Matataki, first thing, visit Great Treant. Follow the river and you'll find it. He might look a bit weird, but he takes good care of people. He sure, he is sure to give you a hand. So long! Bye, Dran. Thanks for your help. Don't get mind controlled again. That would be really awkward, and I'd have to save you again by beating you up. That's the manly way to save people. Uh, I don't know why I went in. Oh, right. I wanted to look at that. Ah, 100s all across the board. Nice. And <laughs> because I moved, it decided to make this happen, because I've 100% completed it. And now the music would play, I think. And Dran comes up. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Flap, flap, flap. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm not over there anymore. I moved to Gaffer's Buggy, because I wanted to buy things. Way to go, kid. The villagers are happy now. I realize what that old man Simba saw on you. Simba? You mean the fairy king? Its name? His name is Simba? You just might be able to beat the dark genie. Simba. As a reward, I will teach you a special technique. The lethal windmill slash. He taught it to me by roaring in my face. I wish we could hear the roar. Roar, I guess. Whoosh. Da -da 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 -da. Windmill Slash mastered. It is a powerful charge skill that causes damage to all enemies near you. Charging with the circle button and releasing it after you flash two times. A charge with. Be careful, though. It eats up weapon HP very fast. Well, that's all I can do for now. So long, kiddo! <sighs> there we go. Do my own sound effects to make up for the fact we don't have them. 
Let's see, what am I getting? Uh, probably gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just buying those straight up. I feel like a fool, by the way. I sold... I don't know if I do it now or later, but I sold the uh, poison amulet eventually. I should have kept it. I've been collecting the amulets, because there's an amulet for almost every single status element, I'm sure. And I have three of them right now, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And now, I guess we looked at my swords just to see what uh, they needed for builds. Yeah, a lot. A lot on ships here. <sighs> Damn it! Stop yawning, Draco. God's sakes. Really unprofessional. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad, small sword. I could probably build that up. Actually, I know if I could build it up already because I've gotten past this point and it's gotten a lot stronger since this point. I mean, this was still near the beginning of the game. I mean, I still don't have, like, I'm not that far into the game. I only have two party members and I'm in the second area. But I'm further than this particular area. And now we're looking through this. Uh, it said it needed thunder element, did it? Why didn't I put that on? Hmm. Weird. Don't know why I did Oh, wait, am I going to put it on now? Yeah, because I figured I'd look. And yep, thunder and ice is what we need. And we need metal and mage. So, customize, put on the thunder, even though it's lightning, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so it gives us three lightning. Right. Um, what else did I need? I only need attack built up. You yeah, just need attack built up. Uh, I need some ice and metal and mage. And thunder, still, I believe. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just leave those there. Um, I could put something else in, or I could leave that space open for something later, I guess. Yeah, undead is its own thing, that's what I was looking at. See if I could put it and get the purple one to go up because I thought that might be ghosts and ghosts are kind of like undead, but no, that was not the case. Oh wait, is this why I sell? Yeah, I'm selling some of these things that I don't need because nothing needed fire, so I figured I could sell that. I mean, nothing needed wind? Maybe I shouldn't have sold wind. I understand selling fire, but I just sold two elements to get one element. But whatever, that is something I did need, so let's just pop that on. No, not the Sky Hunter. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, and I keep looking because I think it's going to change. It doesn't change until you upgrade it. <sighs> Damn it. I need to stop that yawning. Anyway, to Matataki Village. I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay. So, Matataki Village. I believe that bit of me staring at the map was me trying to figure out how to pronounce it again. I forget what the music here sounds like. I can't even hum it. But yep, here we are. This is what's left of Matataki Village. Because if you recall, the Dark Genie didn't just attack our area. He just kind of went to town on every area. Exclamation point! Hey. You. And now the phone's... Okay, back after the phone stopped going off. Anyway, I think we need to go up there, north area. And I guess those are 
river, but yep, river. They're just devoid of water because it's not really connected to any bodies of water. How is it he managed to only sort of destroy the river? I mean, back at No Rune, that river was destroyed. I mean, I guess it was, you know, not that much of a river, but still, you think he'd be able to destroy all of the river. But whatever. What the fuck is that? It's a tree slug thing, I guess. It's gross. I guess this is a treant. Treant in its current state is helpless without water. Oh, hey again, old timer. Simba, apparently, your name is. Treant is a tree fairy that controls the water element. Without water, it seems like speaking is difficult for it. Why are you helping me if you hate humans, Simba? Draco. You on your own must connect the river that cut, was cut off here at Mataki, Matataki Village to revive Treant. Jeez, I am all over the place. God, Treant will then surely aid you on your quest. This is a village at which I saved with Atla for some reason. The village could be revived if the Atla can be found. The Atla are probably scattered around the Wise Owl Forest. You can enter the forest by opening Matataki's gate here. Again, I have no idea why I've been helping you humans, but whatever. I will open the gate for you. Go and see what you can find. Listen, Draco, make the river your priority. Connect the river to save Treant, got it? I know you humans are stupid, so I wanted to make it clear. Whoosh! There, I've made it more apparent. Uh, anyway... The fairy tree treant is dried up. Water could possibly revive it, but we're not sure on that, apparently. But with that, I think we'll end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll go to Wise Owl Forest, try to get some Atla there, and uh, just do what we did in No Room, pretty much. See you guys then.